Welcome back, World Wide Web, to Hanging With. I'm GW Palmetry. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure you go on down and hit subscribe for us. Come back over and over and over and over again and see some of these great artists, authors, and creators of all kinds. Uh, we love it if you subscribe. If this is your first time, thanks for hanging with us. We are at the I Love Books multi-genre book signing hosted by the Florida Writers Association. And we are hanging with Suzanne Johnson, the author of the children's book, Sophie at Bath. So yes. tell us a little bit about the book. Well, this is my first book published in 2011. And okay. it's about a little girl, Sophie, who has to get over her fear of hitting without the tea and salt. Oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. And what inspired this? Uh, my friend's daughter, Sophie, you know, she did play softball for a little while. It didn't actually happen, but I thought, what would happen if? Uh -huh. And so that's how I started on the book. The writer's favorite question, what yeah. if? What if? What if, huh? Yes. And, yes. and now you, you, you've chosen to do children's books. Yes. Uh, anything about the genre that particularly appealed? Well, I am an elementary librarian in Broward County. Okay. And um, I do love working with kids and just being around children. So I decided to start my craft there. Oh, I think that's fantastic. That is really, really great. Any particular lesson that you hope people get out of, out of, uh, out of Sophia Bath? Well, the main theme is to not give up. Not she give does, up. You know, fail a couple times, but she, in the end, with practice. As a new writer, that's a great lesson. <laughs> We have hopefully as absorbed as you're writing, right? Yes. Yes. That's, so what were some of the most daunting challenges of starting out as a new writer? Um, finding publishing. Okay. Yes. It's very difficult. I am self-published. Even okay. going that route, it's hard to find, you know, someone to follow what your ideas are uh -huh. and get them in print. That's fantastic. And how's it been so far? So far, so good. I have... Sophia Dance, which is a sequel to this. Okay. And a poetry book, and I'm working on a boy book called Aiden the Soccer Star. Oh, fantastic. That's great. So you just keep going. Keep going. That is great. So don't give up. Don't give That's up. That's right. <laughs> and so now you're, you're writing children's books. Yeah. So growing up, any favorite books, any favorite uh, children's writers that, that stick out in your mind? Yeah, most famously Beverly Cleary. Okay. Obviously, I read all the books that she had with the children's books. Uh -huh. and so on and um, just as I became an adult I actually became more interested in the thriller so James okay. Patterson the Alex Cross oh and wow fantastic but yeah, yeah. Kid, Beverly Cleary, of course, that was it right and and that is and fantastic she, yeah. now as a new author and seeing the hurdles that you've had to, to overcome mm -hmm. and, and bringing the book to market and more books to market now um, any advice for, for someone that's sitting home and they've, they've got maybe they've, they're at the keyboard and they're like <laughs> Do I really want to do, what do I do now? Any, any advice for those guys as they get started? Um, definitely do your research. Uh -huh. I've made a few errors, but you know, you learn from your mistakes and you keep going. But I always say just try. Uh -huh. Hit up Amazon, see what other people have, and just do a little self-research before you go out there and pick a publishing yeah, yeah, writer's right. Yeah. So once you do that, then do some of the homework, yeah, right? Do the homework. That's fantastic. And um, so you write for children. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, and even those children and their parents, they want to know a little bit about Susan. Yeah. Okay. So growing up, favorite cartoon character? Um, I did like Popeye. Popeye. Because of Popeye olive oil, the whole getting strong. Yeah, thing. yeah. Okay. But I did. Awesome. Awesome. No, no, no. You know, writers write at all hours. You were inspired whenever the, 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 the muse speaks to us. Okay? So you're up in the middle of the night, and, and, and you got to get Sophie over her fear. Favorite midnight snack? Um, What's going to give Sophie her strength that night? Uh, Cheetos. Cheetos. Che Popeye did spinach. <laughs> Sophie is a Cheetos girl, okay? I love Cheetos. Cheetos. Susan says Cheetos. Okay, so we're going to take you to Hogwarts. We're going to put the sorting hat on you. Where are you going to end up? Um, I'm going to say I've never been and always want to go to Italy. So that's Italy? where we're going to end up. Oh, Vatican Hot City. The sorting Italy. hat is going to send her to the Vatican, guys. Yes. That's a good place to go. <laughs> that's right. You go to Gryffindor, she's going to Rome, baby. I'm going that's yes. right. Okay. You're stranded on a desert island. You can take one thing with you. What are you going to take? If I could, unlimited supply of water. An unlimited. <laughs> That's a Florida answer. We're surrounded by water. Everybody wants water. Uh, awesome. 
fantastic. And you got three new projects going on right yeah. now. You're just juggling it all. Yeah. Tell, let's, let's start at the beginning. What's the first one again? Sophia Bat. Sophia Bat. Mm -hmm. And the next? Sophia Dance. Sophie, Ed, Sophie is the girl for you. Young boys <laughs> yes. out there, Sophie can hit a ball. Sophie can dance. Yes. So that's your girl right there. Yes. Uh, and after that? Uh, I did a po poetry book called poetry. My Heartbeat. Fantastic. And About this, different children that I know and just oh, wow. different things that they've done to inspire me. Wow, that is amazing. That is really great. And then you have one more, right? Just, yes. The new one's coming out this summer, Aiden the Soccer Store. Aiden the Soccer Store. So, little girls, there's a boy. We got a boy coming, Aiden. the Soccer Star. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. They tell me I got to wrap it up here. So thank you so much, Susan, for sharing thank your you. work with us. And uh, we're going to put some links down here in the description so you can find uh, Susan Johnson, Sophie at Bat. And you can keep your eye on the World Wide Web. This is an up-and-coming children's book star. Thank so check you. it out. And we can't wait to see more uh, from, from Susan. As we wrap it up again, thanks to Books, Chocolate, and Wine, Word Fire Press, the Florida Book News, Authors for Authors, and Something Unique Magazine. These are the folks that are sharing these interviews all over the World Wide Web. They're helping us to get the word out there about our great artists and authors and these creators. I'm GW Pomacher. We have been hanging with Susan Johnson, the author of Sophie at Bat. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, come back again, and see who we're hanging with next.